Okay, this is a 77 year old gentleman. We performed the radio frequency ablation on the left side of his lumbar spine. He's been doing great so far with that. Now we work, we're working on the right side. Uh, he had a block about two weeks ago and had a positive response to the diagnostic portion of the injection. Uh, so we're going ahead with the radio frequency today. Again, we're going to use a two needle technique, which is going to give us a bigger lesion. Uh, we're down here at the L5, uh, excuse me, the the uh, superior articular process at S1, and this is going to get our L5 dorsal primary ring A Little pinch, buddy. So we're going to go down there, we're going to touch bone, and then we're going to go to the oblique view in a moment. Um, pinch. What we're doing here is our goal is to create a big lesion around the, the space in which the nerve that interfaces the facet joints is going to lie. In this case, as you can see, he's got some degeneration in there. You can see the disc space is narrowed. He's got some um, osteophytes at that level oblique, but that's at the vertebral body. That's in front of where we're working more. So, lower a little bit. So you can see where how I'm maneuvering these needles to lie kind of parallel to each other. Um, half a centimeter apart or so. And at that junction is where that nerve comes down and wraps up. You can see the line uh, adjacent to where we are is the actual facet joint. I'll show you in a second. This line right here on the L5 level and this right here, that's the actual facet joint. Knowing that it's going to be steroid at first. That takes about five minutes or so to take effect. Now I'm connecting these electrodes at that tip of the needle. Uh, there's a one centimeter area at the tip that heats up and creates the thermal lesion around there, and you can see that we have about one centimeter, and the reason why we go to this oblique view from that EP view is because right now that active tip is actually, so it's a, the bone is shaped like this, so these, these, these needles with their active tip is on the bone, so we're creating a lesion like this around where these nerves come up. So now we're going to test for motor stimulation. You can see we're not anterior to the bone. Oh. <coughs> Go ahead. So we don't expect to have it. If we were on a nerve root, we do not have radio frequency at nerve root. That's good. You all right? You don't feel anything in the leg, right? That's good. Next. Good. Next. Let me know if you feel anything in the leg or you feel your leg pulsating or anything, OK? Good. Up and down the leg, right? Good. Now a little lesion. So first we're sending in an electrical signal to activate the nerve. So again, it's on a nerve root, which you do not want. You would have a motor stimulation. There's no way you can block that feeling. Um, there's no way you can stop your leg from, from twitching if you uh, apply that degree of uh, electricity to it. So we know we're not on that. And we tested them individually, and now we're heating them uh, for one minute at 80 degrees Celsius. Um, and that's adequate enough to provide uh, enough uh, 
damage to the nerve cells to where it, uh, they're no longer able to transmit the signal. And unfortunately, um, because it, although it destroys the nerves, part of the sheet that they lie in is still there. So over you know, somewhere from six to nine months, this nerve can grow back and uh, the pain can return. You know, in some patients too, they have um, multiple reasons to have pain. And in his case, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he had some pain related to that disc degeneration and that um, the bony stuff he has going on that I'm so that he can do. Let's go back to the line. There's the there, and then the angle caught out a little bit. Get ready for the next level, that's good. Alright, the minute's up, and then we'll take those out and move on to the next level. You okay down there? Doing great, buddy. Just hang it in, you got a little pinch, okay? Yeah. Doing great. The left side's still feeling good, right? Yes, it is. Good. Let's, uh, let's hope that we get some good long relief with this. Well, thank you. Let's see long term, though. Gave you uh, greetings to Dr. Demetrius Dotson. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, we'll talk after about that. He's a good guy. Doing the same thing with this level here. You know, it's at the level of the pedicle that's certainly you see. It's actually three dimensional view that's underneath what we're doing. Um, but that's that's the marker at the upper right hand upper right hand corner of it. You watch this on Yes, we'll we'll talk after about it. I'll sh I can show you if you want. And same thing, and we'll oblique the camera towards you. Then we've gone oblique. You don't want to pass the anterior border because you want to be behind that line there that you can see. It's good there. Again, our endpoint is always on bone, so that's on bone there. Alright, so get ready to do test again. Already just did, we just put a medication. Okay, let's test. So let me know if you feel any sensation in the leg, okay? If you feel your leg throbbing or anything. Good. Good. Again, we're looking for you to get twitching this leg depending on the what nerve you were on. See, so good, good. And, and he would tell us. Just him getting some sensations. Nothing in the leg, right? Good. We can have a little bit of lesion. A little bit of pain there, okay? So now we have about a minute left with this uh, while the uh, radio frequency generator gets to the uh, temperature and and uh, lesions for 60 seconds. Um, you know, this is one of our best procedures that we have to offer because it provides some longer term pain relief. Uh, while we're not curing the arthritis, we're at least getting rid of the nerves that lead to it and transmit the pain. Uh, you know, unfortunately, there is no way to reverse the degenerative changes that we get in our body over time. And um, uh, one thing at least we know is that getting rid of the nerves is not going to cause anything to worsen or um, 
we tend to not know if he's having some other problems, which people often ask. Um, and, uh, you know, although six months doesn't seem like the longest time, but for patients that have been dealing with chronic back pain related to arthritis, uh, almost all of them, if they do get six months, I believe they're very happy because um, other than this, there's really not a lot that's out there that can help this pain. All right, so 60 seconds is up. John, we're all done, okay? I'm going to talk to you in the recovery room. Everything went great. Thank you. It wasn't that bad, right? No, it was Perfect, perfect, okay.